Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe and hit the bell button below. Today's video is about angel wings. Uh, they're three foot tall, two foot wide. It's a wall hanging. They're very lightweight and made with cedar shingles. The first step was I drew it out on paper and then I cut it out of paneling with my jigsaw because I needed a base to be able to hot glue the feathers to. So once I had that done, I took my cedar shingles and an industrial pair of scissors and notched them to make them look like feathers. This is unicorn spit. It's a wood stain and it's very easy to use. I applied it with a brush. I used all four colors on the, each feather and then smoothed it out with one um, stroke of the paintbrush. I'm thinking it took me around 50 to 75 of these cedar shingles to make these two wings. Um, in a pallet, you get way more than that. I think you get around 200 in a pallet for about 16 bucks. So it's cheap, easy, um, very easy to work with and very lightweight for a wall hanging. Once I had them all colored, it takes a little bit to dry. And this is called Unicorn Spit. It's a wood stain. And it just makes a beautiful presentation when it's done. Then my daddy helped me cut the ends of the cedar shingles off, the thicker portions, so that they could be hot glued straight onto the paneling. Once I got that done, I decided that I needed to have more of a contrast in colors, so I used the lighter uh, shade of the unicorn spit and did some more wings, I mean, did some more feathers so that I could add them into the wings. And I think it gave a more multi-dimensional aspect to it. What I'm going to do is take them all off and glue them back one by one. I've also got some little uh, blocks here so that I can block up underneath and let the feathers stand up because we want a 3D effect. So, you ready? Let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is slide it right off. And then we're just going to gently put it back together. Because this is a custom made project, you have to kind of just work with it as you've got it. Because it's not like a puzzle where pieces are just going to fit in. That's why I'm using the hot glue, it just makes it a little easier to create.
And I have to give shout out to my dad because my dad helped me um, cut all these projects with the chop saw because they didn't want me cutting my fingers off. <laughs> so thank you, dad. What will we do without our parents? I mean, really. I tell my kids that all the time. What would you do without me? <laughs> I'm just trying to follow the flow of the pattern so that that stays the same. Because actually, once I slid these off, I really don't know where they go. So, it's a creation in the making. Blocks coming in. Locking it under there so that it doesn't fall back right down.
Okay, I've got them all glued into place. And it looks pretty great. They're 3D, you can see how they kind of stick up because I've glued them. Now the only part is this. I'm gonna have to figure out something to do there. But other than that, it looks great. I'm gonna work on the other one. Okay, to hang, what I'm probably gonna do is, let me get up here close to the camera. Okay, so you can see that there is a hole there. I'm gonna slip this wire through and bring it around to the back. And tie the wire. So that way what I have is okay. I'm about to put the finishing touches on these wings and you can see along the edge here how it's looking. Um, and I want a more finished look. So what I'm gonna do is take this roll of blue burlap since it matches the blue on the wings pretty good. And I'm just going to <clears throat> kind of roll it and glue it on the inside just to hide the mechanics of it. project. Um, they're angel wings, but they're done in peacock colors. And the stain that I used on them is called Unicorn Spit. They're like a 3D set of wings. They're made with cypress shingles, which are very lightweight, easy to cut, and glued. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.